Here's a quick video about rebuilding HPI shocks for a fifth scale. That little clip ring <clears throat> inside there is what you have to get out to replace the O-rings. And I have been able, not have been able to get it out with no tools that I have been able to possess at any store. So what I've done, and I'm going to try to get it to focus, I'll get a uh, Dremel tool and I'll cut two lines straight up and down right there by where the ring is to one side and then I'll make one cut straight underneath it and cut out just a little simple notch then I'm able to get my tool in there and pull it out inside here underneath the bottom of this plug is two o-rings and if your shocks are leaking uh, when you fill them back up that's the reason why I believe it's um, I can't even remember six millimeter by something And I was unable to find those, but uh, Ace Hardware had this one here. It's three eighths by one quarter by one sixteenth. Now it'll take three of these to fix it because of the height difference. These are a little tighter, but a little thinner than the originals. This is the original O-ring. And what happens is they start leaking from the inside. So what I did was I went with a little tighter one. And again, here's that number. That's three eighths by one quarter by one sixteenth. And I got that at Ace Hardware. It's a pretty common little O ring. It'll take three of them. Stack those three O rings in the bottom right underneath this plug. Put it back together. And put your snap ring in. Put it back together. And it'll all work just fine. Hope it helps. Okay, this is video two uh, rebuilding HPI shocks. This is that part that's almost impossible. I'm going to show you another picture. You just cut out where that ring, the little steel keeper ring, has got a little gap in it. If you can see that. So you take your Dremel tool and just cut a little notch out. And that way you can slip that spring around. And you can expose part of that ring. And then you can get a little uh, ice pick or something under to pull it out. And it's real easy to do, so you don't have to fight them anymore or buy this whole part. And also, this little plug here, it goes on top of the O-rings. If you look inside of it, you're going to have some premature wear on one side, and the other side will be real nice and square. You want the real nice square side to point down towards the bottom of the shock because then this little bushing will slide up and down real tight and it won't tear up your new o-rings <laughs>